All right, perfect. So now since the alien chapter is out, and I already have had like 1.8 million blood points saved up, just so that way I can make sure Ellen was prestiged. By the time she came out, it's like 20 minutes after her release with Alien. And now I'm just reworking like every single build and taking all these off somewhat. Ellen brings three new perks to the game. A lucky star. When hiding in a locker, this perk activates. You leave no pools of blood and make no grunts of pain for 10 seconds. When you exit a locker, you see the other survivors and the closest generator aura for 10 seconds. This perk goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. Kind of cool. Like, it can be used with some cool things like quick and quiet head-on, um, inner healing. It's good for newer survivors if they're just having trouble, like, finding a generator sometimes. This one, I got to see activate once on the PTB where you do progress on the generator, you do 50% progress on any generator. Then you are able to, next to a dropped pallet, press your active ability button, and then it sets a trap on the pallet. You're able to reset the pallet as well, with any means necessary, and just drop the pallet again. But it's like this gigantic bomb that's on top of it, so a lot of times killers won't even break it. It's really, really great for god pallets but a lot of the time the killer would just like walk around the loop instead of breaking it. I guess extending the loop. So that could work out if it's a very very strong pallet to use it on. This would actually be really good if you were in like, yes everything's better in comms, but say you're running to a loop and your friend knows you're running to that loop and they have, have it, they can set up a chemical trap on a strong pallet like Killer Shack or something on the game or one of the really really long tiles on cold wind farm they can just set the trap on the pallet reset the pallet and then while you're running over there you just have a trapped pallet so that's really cool this is the perk i've been excited for since the ptb like i'm never never taking this perk off at this point it was a ton of fun on the ptb and it's very very simple while you are healthy, this perk activates. Your running footsteps are silent. This perk goes on this perk goes on cooldown for 20 seconds after performing a rushed action. People like this is a very, very simple thing, but in a game based a lot around audio, this can do so very, very much. It's gonna be better for more experienced survivors, so like more you will get more return on investment from using light footed if you are a more experienced player because you can do some really, really interesting things um, just by knowing that you have no audio while running around. I can tell you I remember one specific moment in the past of I was walking on Azeroth's and I was walking by a set of tires and a nurse was just like floating by minding her own business and I think she heard me rustle the grass behind the tires and she immediately turned and just blinked on me and hit me. Even my getting my own better gaming headset in the future, like, I, I've had it now for a while, it's fantastic. Like, I've heard a couple times before of just like, a survivor running behind a rock like, 10 feet to my right. It doesn't matter how good your headset is, if you are running this perk while well healthy. It just gets rid of all game audio or running whatsoever. There's no more splotching around on Blackwater Swamp. running really loudly through the hallways of Midwich. Look at her. Look how fucking loud the leader's footsteps are. Listen to this. You can't.
She has no fucking idea what just happened to her. Like, at all. I think it's a she. Oh, I love this fucking perk. This can be perk to finally counter spirit. Like, we, ha we have Iron Bull somewhat, but she'll still hear you running. She can still see the movement of grass, everything like that. With this, she can't hear you running. And if you double track, she doesn't know if you double backed or not. Just try not to get hit first. I'm going to try and get as much use out of Light Foot as, as I can. I've got a couple builds set up, and I'm going to use them on Ada, because Ada is the quietest survivor in the game. I was running this build a lot on the PTB. Iron Will to make Ada the quietest person in this entire game. Like, it's insane how quiet she is when she has Iron Will. Uh, made for this, I, I have not taken this perk off since it came out. Like, unless a tome or something said I can't use it, I keep this perk on. Lightweight. I had to look this up in the DVD Wikipedia, I didn't know the actual mechanics of it. But, scratch marks appear for 10 seconds. Just naturally, they, they last there for 10 seconds. Lightweight reduces the duration of scratch marks by 50%. Make it, make it so scratch marks only stay visible for 5 seconds total. It also spreads out your scratch marks a lot, so like it's just like very sporadic. It works really well on indoor maps when you have like a branching path and you have enough distance to make it look like you're going one way and then you just walk the other way instead. And then pairing this with light footed of just being able to be silent constantly. Because one of the issues that Ada has is that she has very, very loud footsteps for being like such a quiet, quiet survivor. It honestly sounds like she's walking around in like wooden clogs on, on like a wood floor. With this build, I've been able to get away from a lot of killers on the PTB like pretty easily. I'm gonna see how it works in live. I've also got the same thing, but without lightweight and just adding flashbang in instead. It was crazy, when I was running around on the PTB with light footed, I was actually just chasing killers and they had no idea that I was nearby because they couldn't hear my footsteps at all and get a couple flashbang saves. So I'm gonna continue to try and do that. And then probably one of the most annoying <laughs> builds ever. Like I kind of just feel like a jerk, but also okay with it. I'm gonna take light footed for silent footsteps to chase the killer. Flashbang for flashbang saves, and for the people, buckle up. So that way, if I'm chasing right behind the killer, and they down someone, and they don't know I'm there, and they don't have save the best for last to recover extremely quickly, I should be able to either get a flashbang save on them, or for the people, buckle up them.
<laughs> so quiet. If you're not running through, like, tall grass. Oh, it's that easy. Its head is fucking gigantic. Holy shit. It's wearing a satellite dish on its head. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching this video. I've been having a lot of fun with this perk in the alien chapter overall, but you go ahead and make up your own combinations that you think you can do with light footed. I have one friend that loves to run breakout and background player a lot, so he's probably going to be running this a lot, but you go ahead and make your own fun combinations and enjoy the alien chapter, and I will see you next time.